The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We are from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today, we're going to be looking at the German DAX. As you can see here, this market has been in a slightly trending down move, as you can see by the parallel channels that are there. Uh, last night, we made a roughly a 38% retracement of the last few days retracement. We've started to rally from that level. We've uh, done pretty much the same type of rally uh, post-debate, uh, I guess you would call it, uh, in the uh, S&P and the Dow. Haven't really gone uh, very much, but we're still up, um, you know, substantially from where we were uh, on Friday. Now. The main thing to remember this week, I believe, is on the uh, the 14th, we have this huge Bradley date coming in, and then we have the full moon that actually comes in on uh, Sunday. So this should be a very, very active week. Uh, I believe that we'll be able to circle this uh, on our charts uh, in a you know, few weeks and look back and say, wow, this is really something happened on this particular week. Whether it's going to be up or down, you know, remains to be seen. But uh, right now it does have a, uh, a firm undertone. I don't think there's any uh, question about that. So we need to, uh, you know, keep that in mind as we, you know, walk through, you know, some of the things that we're that we're looking at. Now, uh, I would like to share with you what I think is the most uh, important chart that we're going to be looking at historically, uh, and I'm talking here going back uh, 10 years from now, we'll, we'll look back at this and say, gee, something really big was happening here, but maybe we didn't see it. And that's in this interest rate market, folks. The chart that I'm going to show you now is the high uh, yielding bonds, junk bonds, and if you'll notice the blue line that is there, what I've done is I've superimposed the the notes uh, over that. Notes are the largest of any of the commodity that we trade. They have the largest open interest and the largest volume of anything traded. They're a little, they seem to be a little dull sometimes, but they trade really nicely. But you'll notice this thing has been in a downtrend since July, and yet high-grade bonds have been uh, going higher. This means that people are clamoring for yield because we're near zero interest rates and so they want a higher yield so they buy things that give them higher yield that it that is uh, mathematically not supposed to be the right thing to do uh, I've mentioned many times uh, in the book uh, my own my own story which is the autobiography of Bernard Baruch who was uh, one of uh, JP Morgan's closest confidants you know back in the, in the early days of the 30s um, basically he said don't be concerned on the return on your money be concerned on the return of your money and so this is violating that principle uh, this is a really big divergence here that we're having folks uh, in this interest rate market especially over the last 10 days that has really been accentuated now if we if we quickly um, we don't even have to be quickly we could actually do this slowly can't we we'll take a quick look at the notes right here and you'll see here that we are in a situation where we've been in a uptrend for uh, quite some time, but that's changing a little bit now. Uh, as you can see here by the Treasury note chart that we're watching, um, we had a top back in July. That's when the bonds hit the 177 level. The notes hit the 134 level. There was a butterfly up there. Then the market came down uh, into uh, September, and then we rallied uh, into the late September, and we made a 38% retracement uh, at that level. And now we've started to move down. We were lower on Friday, but we did turn near the close and close up a little bit. But we're we're starting to go down again today. As you'll notice, you'll and I'm just looking at patterns. And as you can see here, we are looking at a really nice uh, A B C D pattern here in the Treasury notes that will bring us down to about 127. That's about three handles. That would be equivalent to about uh, seven handles in the bonds because bonds have a, 
a volatility, not volatility, but they move about twice as fast. So you'd be looking at about six and a half to seven points down in the bonds. They're trading at 164, should be looking right about 158 uh, in the treasury bonds. That'll take them below uh, the lows for the year. In other words, interest rates have been going higher in the real market, but the Federal Reserve has kept them, you know, relatively uh uh, sh low by by their quantitative easing. And now there are a few people that are coming out and questioning quantitative easing. Uh, the latest one is John Maudlin from uh, Business Insider. Uh, he, he has really put out a really long piece over the weekend. I didn't read it, but someone paraphrased it for me. And they're look he's looking, they just don't understand the, the concept behind it. And, you know, when you stop and think of what they have going on in Japan with negative interest rates in Germany, nearly the same thing in many other countries at negative interest rates, it just doesn't make any sense. You would not you would not lend money to a person that you had to pay them money. Uh, that That's just... That's just insane, but that's how the market's working. So we got to pay you know, particular attention to it. But rates are going higher. It's just a question of when the, um, the Federal Reserve you know, finally does it, and then you'll have a pretty good idea of, uh, that we will have higher. And we'll get back to normal, because that's what's happened since 2008 when Bernanke thought up this situation of uh, uh, quantitative easing. Uh, they've skewed the business cycle. Uh, usually we had a really, really beautiful four and a half to five year cycle uh, in the stock market up and down. And in the last nine years, that has been totally obscured, you know, by quantitative easing. And uh, we've had some nice patterns, of course, but the quantitative easing has really uh, threw a wrench in the normal cycle phenomenon. Uh, well, that's just the way it is at certain times, I guess. So not to worry. All right, we've had a question. Yes, thanks, Duffy. Duffy just posted that thing from uh, John Maudlin. If you want to read it, it's quite lengthy, and he's a very, very uh, uh, really good writer. Uh, he just uses those really big words that were not associated with people from southern Indiana. All right, we're going to have a question here. Someone's asked us about the uh, natural gas contract, and I wanted to bring this up for a second, and we'll take a quick look at this. And you'll notice here that uh, we had several major uh, patterns completing up in that one at 3006. That was the 1.618 expansion level. Uh, the important thing to watch on this chart, folks, is is where we are uh, uh, five days ago. You'll notice that we were making a 61% retracement. Uh, that was that was after uh, the market had made the high. It took 10 days to make a 61% retracement, and you can see those higher bottoms. Those are that that's that pattern that we talk about, which is the one three five pattern on the upside. And uh, this has really taken off. So, you know, we could go substantially higher uh, here in natural gas. The the ABCD on this would takes it well above the uh, near the three three point three oh cubic feet. So it would really be an interesting uh, uh, move. But it had a beautiful bottom down there uh, back in March that we were able to uh, take advantage of. You'll notice it was a perfect one, two, three drive to a bottom. Now that is a totally different pattern. Uh, I hope take a little break here. And then the one, three, five, we'll cover this when we get back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and we were talking about the uh, difference between the three drive to a bottom versus the 135 pattern. The 135 pattern was first brought to my attention by uh, Roy Longstreet and his son Bill. Uh, basically, when I met them back in the uh, early 80s, uh, I basically talked to them about, uh, you know, what was going on with the uh, uh, Fibonacci numbers, and they got a really great uh, uh, feel for that, and they were very, very thankful and became friends. But anyway, the main difference is the three drive to a bottom pattern is you're heading down uh, and making lower lows, whereas the 135 pattern both on the upside and the downside, is you're buying higher bottoms or selling higher, lower tops. So that's the idea of the idea for, for a perfect trend train trading. So that's the main thing that you want to be, uh, you know, be thinking about. So if you'll, if you'll keep in mind that um, these patterns are only probabilities, you know, that's the main thing. You can't really uh, put any more emphasis on it than that, that you must use some type of stop protection when you're using these things. And usually within 3%, if you're doing something, uh, a 3% stop will usually uh, suffice. Some, th some things like uh, crude oil and gold have, have to take a little bit more risk because of the fact that you're looking at something that uh, has a high volatility and a very high value of the contract and so that makes it a little different but if you're trading a stock um you know so, so for instance if you're trading apple uh you can uh, you know you're looking at a you know stock that's trading for 115 and three percent of that you're, you're looking at about four dollar about a four dollar stop in apple and that will usually protect you uh, of anything that you're that you're trading so keep that in mind okay now here is uh, the meat to what's going on here uh, in the market that we really need to watch folks. This is the this is the key one to watch this week in my opinion uh, But if you'll take a look here at this gold market, this is the weekly chart in gold uh, You know going back uh, to 2014 you notice we made that high up there at the top of the channel at uh, 3 uh, 1380 uh, and this I, I, I highlighted this in really really dark black so that you could see how, how perfect it is uh, it has, it has uh, you know, three hits on the upside, two hits on the downside. Uh, on the downside, we made a 38% retracement 
uh, below. We went just a little bit below it by about uh, six dollars. Now we're trading at you know 1260 and change. So this is a really strong probability of this market making a good turn this week. Uh, this is going to be interesting because we have this super full moon coming in on Sunday, which is uh, you know a pretty big thing because of the fact that the Earth is closest to the moon. Uh, that's called perigee. It also has a name called zizigy that Norm Winsky talked to us about from Astro Trends last week. But we need to watch that one a little bit. But this is a, a perfect uptrend channel. Um, you're 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 certainly buying higher bottoms. Uh, from the May bottom, we made a 78% retracement. So we got to watch this very closely. Now, what I try to do is when I look at this is to look at the total uh, of what the uh, other markets are doing in precious metals. And if we switch over to silver, you're going to see here that we have a silver market that is also exhibiting the same type of ABCD structure. You'll notice that we made an ABCD pattern at the 78% level uh, on Friday, which was at $17.11, and we've been up to 17.80. So we've already rallied $4,000 just in a few hours of trading. Now, we broke the downtrend in this at 1920, as if that's where we broke the downtrend. Then we're down for 10 days into this move. Uh, frankly, uh, on Friday, I, I didn't see all of this until I really did my work over the weekend. I took a half a day off on Friday, which was probably the wrong thing to do. But I wouldn't have tried to pick a bottom down here because there was not really a good intraday pattern. You know, we can only risk about 7 or $8 in gold and, and 20 cents in silver. You just don't have that yet. So I'm going to be following that very, very closely. But this has the potential for being something really, really big. The low from December to the high in July to the low we made on Friday in silver is exactly 50%. It's 78% from the May 30th low. And so that's another one. And it's 61% from the April low. So you've got five ratios coming together here uh, in silver. And that that's a very interesting phenomenon. I, I was thinking of you know putting a flat out buy uh, in gold, but if, when it opens higher, you know that just in a, and you're in a downtrend. You you know if you're wrong, you're really going to get hammered, and so I prefer to wait for a, a better uh, intraday signal to get it. Maybe I'll miss it, but you know, frankly, this market has been down for uh, you know well over four months, so there's not very many people bullish on this. So you want to keep uh, relatively open mind, I would think. Now, if we look at the other one that looks really interesting, and this is the platinum, which I don't trade very often, but it does have some really nice patterns here. And let's just take a look. You'll notice here in pl platinum, we made our three drives to a bottom, uh, much like we did in all of the other uh, precious metals, gold and silver, along with platinum. In early January, that's when we hit 10.30 an ounce in the gold. Uh, you'll notice that the market in platinum went up to the exact 78% retracement on the long-term weekly charts. And it also went to the 1.618 expansion of the move from May through July. Went right up to, the, right up to it within $2. And now look what's happened. We've had a really nice situation where we have a three drive to a bottom pattern forming. You'll, you'll see the little one, two, threes that I've had marked in red. And they culminate right at the 61% retracement of the low in January, much like we're seeing in silver at the 50% retracement, gold at the 38% retracement, and now platinum is at the 61% retracement. So this And platinum left a, you'll notice that it left a uh, hanging man uh, candle. In other words, that's the opposite of the shooting star, and that usually is bullish. And we are we are up today. So the thing that you want to do is to watch for, uh, you know, watch for a good entry point. Uh, I don't like to buy markets that gap up. I just, you know, I should just write my checks right in to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange if I'm going to do that. I just, I just don't do uh, buying gap up strength very often. Sure, it works once in a while, but. Most of the time for this old cowboy, it just isn't the right thing to do. So we're going to be watching these, and that's why my you know, presentation today here on TFNN is to talk to you about the um, situation where you know we have a potential bottom here in this. If this were, if this were a uh, the this if this were next Monday, uh, on the super full moon day. Uh, after all this, I would have just flat out bought it on a full moon. But frankly, I, I can't not, I can't do it. Enough said. 
but that's what we want to be looking at. There's one other thing that gives me just a tiny bit of uh, presentation here, and that is the um, the XAU. Uh, you'll notice here, if we do the, the daily chart here of the Gold Miners Index, you'll notice that uh, it has not completed the uh, ABCD pattern yet. Uh, we're, you know, so you, you don't have a completed pattern, and that, that might be the last thing that it's waiting for. You know, I'm not sure, because maybe it'll go down and make one slightly lower low or something like that. I'm just quite not sure, but I don't like buying strength, you know, early in the morning. That's not just the, the way to do it. When we come to the second segment of the show, folks, we're going to be talking about the British pound. I've done a, a pretty extensive study along with my good friend, Jim Bartolone. We're going to cover that at the break. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs>
I don't know what ha happened, Al. It must have been a Skype uh, problem. Testing one, two, three. Okay, boys and girls, let's switch over to the uh, British pound. Um, there is something very big happening in uh, this British pound. I wanted to share with you uh, one of the charts from my good friend and trading buddy, um, Jim Bartolioni. Uh, you'll notice here, this is the long-term uh, chart of the British pound uh, going back uh, 40 years. If you'll notice the very bottom, which was at 105, this was in February of uh, 1985 at the Plaza of Court. You can see, if you look to the left of the chart, you'll see an absolute perfect ABCD pattern that formed there uh, at a 1.618 expansion. Uh, from there, you see we had some really strong rallies where we got all the way up to, uh, we doubled, we're a little more than doubled in price over the next uh, 20 years. And now we've come down and we're testing this um, uh, 88 per, well, the, just right at the 78% level of this whole thing, and also very, very close to that uh, other 1.618 level that we're looking at. But what I wanted to do is to sort of walk through this to give you an idea that, uh, you know, there's other patterns that are lined up in this area right here. And you'll see uh, the first one that we're looking at here. This is one that uh, is the most interesting because this is the weekly chart of the pound. The other one was a long-term monthly chart. And as you'll see, this weekly chart, uh, we have some really nice cycles from 2001 to 2008. So there's an eight-year cycle in here that uh, is, is lining up really nicely. You'll notice that we made a 1.27 uh, expansion of the move from uh, 2001. And we got all the way down to uh, 119 and change. And our long-term target on this was right at 120. So that's right in the, the wheelhouse of a of a perfect pattern. Now, we also have that big ABCD pattern in this area to look at it. Now, we when I, I happened to be in London in May uh, giving some uh, talks to some of my students over there. We, we try to get together a couple times a year and uh, you know just go over things but the main thing that I, I meet one of my very very dear friends who happens to be uh, one of the best traders I've ever met he's also a very smart person but he said that this Brexit thing was going to be a no-go he said they're they're gonna pull out and he was only one of the very few people and he made a good case for why and it was the fact that nobody was talking about it except the bookies and the bookies were laying eight to one that they were going to stay in the union, and they didn't. And uh, so that was one of those things uh, going on. He's also telling me now that he's seeing the same type of scenario we have here in the U.S. elections, that the underdog has a chance of being a big surprise here because people are underestimating the overall um, structure of the of the voting structure now let's move on to the british pound uh one more time in here because we really need to watch this right here this is a daily chart now we went from a monthly to a, a daily now we're going to go down to the weekly chart and you're going to see here that from in the brexit that was trading at 150 and then the next next day um uh, well the next 10 days it dropped 23 points it went from 151 down to 128, and then after the 128, it rallied six handles up to the 134 level, which was a 382 retracement of the high at the Brexit at 150, and then we collapsed here on Friday, which what they called the flash crash, and I'm not so sure. Uh, they've never given a really strong explanation of what really caused it, but uh, it did get down to the 119 level. Uh, that was that was legitimate trades uh, because they didn't um, they did not bust those trades, and it's pretty hard to bust trades in forex because uh, you're talking about some pretty serious money over there. But uh, you'll notice that the drop from uh, in June dropped 23 points, and the drop from September to the October dropped 15 points. Well, that relationship turns out to be exactly 61%. So this is another factor that tells us that we should be watching this British pound. Now, you can't just go in and buy it. You've got to wait for something, you know, really nice to, uh, you know, line up to uh, see that if it's uh, going to, to work or not. But one other pattern that if we look at this on, on a little bit shorter time frame, not going back, um, you know, 40 years like we did with Bart's chart, we'll just go back about uh, eight years. And you'll notice here that we do have a uh, really nice ABCD structure here uh, in the uh, British pound. In, in addition to that, 
we do have a three drive to a bottom pattern from 2005, 2016 uh, early and then to where we are right now. So we need to watch this. And my strategy is to let the market trade for a couple of days and watch for a really nice ABCD counter trend move. In other words, the market will go up, have a rally, and then fail in, in ABCD format, coming down to a 61% retracement or a 78% uh, retracement, making it a Gartley pattern, and that will be the one that we will be wanting to uh, look at. Uh, so that's the main thing that I'm uh, keeping an eye on. Uh, for the long-term currencies. As we take a look here uh, at the euro, which is uh, always a really interesting one uh, to look at, you'll notice here uh, on the last several days in the euro, we here again, we had this beautiful uh, one three five pattern forming. Um, you had 78% retracements, uh, just, just absolutely spot on. And so it, uh, it makes it a good spot. And now we're pulling down to this area around 111.40, it's going to be very, very critical uh, here in the uh, the euro because if it could hold that, this three drive to a bottom pattern was telling you that this is a potential for a major bottom, and if we can hold that 111.50 area uh, in the euro, then we've got a chance at that the market getting ready to uh, move higher in the euro, which means the U.S. dollar index would be getting ready to move lower. And we've spent a lot of time at this, in this show here talking about the U.S. dollar. And this next chart, you know, gives you an idea that, you know, we've had some really nice patterns. As you can see, uh, we did make a, a three drive pattern uh, up at that 97 and change level. Uh, if we get above 98, folks, the dollar, I believe, has got a chance to really, really go a long way. If it can, that'll mean the pound uh, excuse me, that, that the euro is going to have to get below the uh, 110 level without any trouble at all. That's down about 150 pips from where it is right now, and that would mean that this thing could go. Now, remember that the pound could actually uh, go up if, if the euro goes down because each of these currencies are weighted differently. And now we have the Chinese renminbi that is putting into, into the market. We haven't seen any impact of that yet. And uh, so I, as if I, as if I start to see something like that, I will certainly look at it. But keep an eye on the, the if you'll see, if you watch your 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 financial channels, if you see the RMB trading at around um, 6.6, 6.8, that anything around that, that doesn't mean anything. When the if the RMB gets above seven and a half or below. Oh, five, then you're looking at something really, really significant. That means if they're in there playing some kind of games in foreign exchange, but you got to get a move of about 15% outside of these trading If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Focus Commodity CD from Everbank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to six equally weighted commodities, including gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, and sugar, and one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 50% per component, you could earn up to a 50% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The October 13th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So hurry over to everbank.com TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex. Up next on TFNN. Okay, folks, uh, we need to take a look here uh, at the crude oil market. This is a daily chart. As you can see here, um, you know, a couple weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago, we had that Gartley pattern form at the 61% retracement down there at uh, $43 a barrel. And now you'll notice that we have a ABC structure coming in we're trading at $51 a barrel now we have a uh, very very close to taking out the old high uh, that we made back in June this is something to pay particularly close attention to because this could be a double top pattern and the reason why you say that is you have multiple numbers coming together at the um, uh, 150 almost 152 uh, and change level so if it doesn't get if it, in other words if it takes out that high from june it doesn't go anywhere you could be looking at a double top and there's several other reasons uh to tell you this also the main thing is is that if you look at the ab swing from august uh all during august and then you if you'll measure that which is the ab section to the cd to the cd leg which we're in now it measures uh in time and price up to this level of a little above uh, 151 and a half to 152 and that's the main thing and remember we're up uh, we're up like 13 days you know without a major correction here so this is uh, usually uh, uh, an outlier event and you'll get something to the downside now also if you'll notice that there's a potential here for this market to go to uh, 56 you know dollars a barrel and I know they're having some type of a meeting uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia uh, about the oil. I think it's OPEC, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this is something that you want to watch, uh, you know, very, very closely. Now, I've had a, a question to uh, just give me one second here. My uh, beeper is going off. Oh, we've got another one that's going to be interesting here today, too, folks. Let me just bring this is why the beeper is going. Let me turn it off and let me uh, be. Oh, just a second here. I got to get it up. Oh, dear. One second here. It's the NASDAQ. So just give me one second here. We've got a big pattern coming due here. Whether it's going to happen today or not, I don't know, but it's getting very, very close. Let me turn this off. We're making almost new highs. Not quite yet in the NASDAQ, but we want to watch this one uh, very, very closely. Let's just post this chart because I uh, want to show you the same uh, type of pattern that we're having here uh, in the um, crude oil it's the same thing we're seeing in the nasdaq this is the abcd pattern and you'll see here that um, we have a a couple of uh, 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 patterns that are coming together here a 1.618 expansion of the bc leg and also the abcd leg is correct now you'll notice we've been uh, we've been in the same very, very tight range here now for four weeks. Uh, folks, this is either the greatest um, uh, area of support or the greatest area of resistance that uh, you can possibly run into. So watch this, uh, watch this one very closely because the rest of the market is still – you know, headed down. There's not uh, any indication that we're having any really big move uh, to the upside at all. Uh, if we take a look at what happened last week uh, in the NASDAQ, you'll notice here that we made a pretty nice bottom at a 61% re retracement on Friday. And all we're doing now is we're having the, uh, you know, the early morning rally uh, could be from whatever they want to talk about. It could be because it's uh, it's Columbus Day. No, I don't think that would be it. And it could be because it's Thanksgiving in Canada. 
Canada, and I don't think that's it. So we'll see what will happen. I believe it's really related to what this full moon is going to do this week, along with this Bradley date that we have on the 14th. This is going to be a key week, uh, in my opinion, so we'll watch it uh, very, very closely. But nothing really has changed very much. It's just been the uh, the uh, the, the the one charts that, of course, are, the, are these um, NASDAQ charts are the big ones. And if we take a look at a couple of them, we'll look at Facebook and Google here. You'll notice here in Facebook that uh, you're uh, making a uh, you know beautiful three-drive pattern up here. In fact, we've already made it. We've gone sideways pretty much what it looked to be that. But if this market gets above 133 uh, in Facebook, you know, you could be looking at something even more even more challenging uh, to the bears. But uh, remember that this company didn't even exist uh, six or seven years ago, and now he's one of the richest men in the world. And also the fact that Amazon's Jeff Bezos is now richer than Warren Buffett. Can you imagine that in just a few years, uh, what somebody can do with the right ideas? I mean, it's just uh, it's really amazing. Now, if we take a look here at Google, You'll notice here, this is another one of the big stocks in the NASDAQ. Uh, we've had some really nice ratios. Uh, we had a beautiful ABCD pattern down at the bottom uh, in July. That was right after the Brexit thing. Uh, that came in on the 24th. We had that bottom on the 27th. And then we've had this, uh, that was June, of course. And then uh, we've made potentially a double top here uh, in Google. We won't know until... It either gets below the, the 750 level or above the uh, 799, 800 level of whether this is a, a, to the break to the upside or downside. We're not quite sure because you're in this really tight trading range. But these are two of the stocks. You know, there's others. Apple is in there and, and a bunch of other ones that, that are there also that will uh, affect these. But primarily, those are the ones that we're, we're keeping an eye on. Uh, for this particular thing uh, to be uh, rectified here in this NASDAQ. This is going to be a really interesting pattern in the NASDAQ because it has so many things uh, coming together uh, into, that, uh, into that time zone, uh, which is this week. Now, if we take a look here at the uh, Dow Jones uh, E-mini, I wanted to bring this up because uh, uh, we're going to have some resistance here. We're up about 100 points or so. Uh, up to this 78% retracement now at uh, 18,270. And of course, if we break above that, uh, you know, we could easily, uh, you know, move, uh, you know, substantially higher. But uh, right now, it looks like uh, we're just having that early part of the morning rally. And whether that's going to be much of a uh, move uh, counter trend or not, we'll have to be, we we'll have to wait and see. Let me quickly check the price on that to see if we are breaking above that level, because that would give us an idea that this has the potential to be a really, really strong up move. I see the NASDAQ is continued. Yes, we have broken above that level. We're trading at 18,300. That's already uh, 40 points. But this is, uh, this is amateur hour, so be careful here uh, in this. Let's just do one quick calculation here off of that. So the ABCD on that structure would measure almost 18,000. Uh, 360. So if we get to about another 60 points higher in the Dow, uh, then you would have a pretty good breakout. But until that happens, uh, not really much is uh, is not not much is going to happen in in, uh, in that. I don't believe the key the key number to watch, folks, in this uh, Nasdaq is at uh, 14 uh, 49 49 uh, 15 49 15 is the number that I'm looking at because it's going to have some interesting numbers come together. That's about uh, 20 points from where we are right now, and that is not very much uh, in the NASDAQ. That's just a few stocks moving a percentage here or there. So uh, you just write this down on a piece of paper and watch it today to see if that uh, 4915 comes into play because that's what we were expecting to see the NASDAQ hit this week. So we want to watch that one. Uh, with a little bit more than just uh, normal interest. You want to pay very, very close attention to it. And we see the bonds uh, and the notes are still weakening again, which interest rates are going higher. I don't think the Fed uh, is going to have you know, any problem with the market absorbing it. I mean, they've been talking about it so much, it doesn't mean anything. My name is
is Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability and host of the Trader's Ed Show heard daily here at TFNN.com. On Wednesday, October 19th at 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a special one-hour event, Trading Range Boundary Lines, where I'll teach subscribers how to identify hidden support and resistance levels, the kind that you definitely need to be aware of for your trading and investing. You'll learn how to plot major horizontal support and resistance, how to identify breakouts and breakdowns, and how to project the next price move. These support and resistance levels work for stocks, ETFs, futures contracts, currencies, and these patterns work on every time frame. By signing up for Mastering Probability right now, you get the first month of my newsletter service for only $49, and that includes October 19th's Trading Range Boundary Webinar. Plus, if you sign up now, I'll include access to my three one-hour workshops, the ultimate trading signals, the ultimate reversal signals, and the long, short line that every trader needs to know. This is an investment you won't regret. For all the details of the upcoming workshop and reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com now. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, we've basically been in a trading range here for a month in the S&P between uh, 2172 uh, to uh, 2133. Uh, we mentioned 2138 is a key level on Friday. We hit that spot on. That was nothing more than a 78% retracement of the last move down. And that's what we're doing now on the upside is seeing the 78% retracement of the move up. Uh, we would have to get above 2184 to turn the market really super bullish, uh, in my opinion. That doesn't mean we can't do that, but we're still 20 handles away. And that is a pretty far move. I think the real action is going to be in the foreign currency markets, in the euro uh, and in the pound, and also in the Japanese yen. The Japanese yen versus the dollar has been acting you know, very, very nicely, too. We came off of a beautiful pattern, uh, rallied four, four handles off of that. So there's a really good chance here that the yen is changing versus the dollar. That should affect stocks down the road also. So watch that uh, with a little bit of interest too because it'll be you know pretty much uh, pretty much looking at we're trading at almost uh, uh, 4900 uh, in the Nasdaq so watch that number up there at 4915 that doesn't necessarily mean you have to sell it there just look at it because there's a whole bunch of numbers coming together uh, at that point which should be uh, of some interest to people that look at pattern pattern recognition. Um, some, several people have asked me, you know, we've had astrologers on uh, all last week talking about the markets and also 
you know, about the election and stuff. Folks, uh, all I, when I look at astrology, I just look at the numbers. I don't understand the zodiac. It's always scared me. Uh, that's mainly because of, uh, you know, the old Ten Commandments, thou shalt not have false gods. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people view that as false gods, even though it does have some scientific interpretation. You had some pretty smart people that have looked at the zodiac over the years, you know, Isaac Newton, you know, Pythagoras, um, Nostradamus, just a lot of people, um, Galileo. I can't name them all. Einstein was really big into it. So uh, I don't understand it enough to make any comments. That's why I have these people come on that are far smarter than me. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.